Today I was thinking, what is the main reason that you should start a business? And I was kind of going back and looking at businesses that I started that was really successful, which fortunately for me has been most of them. And I'm looking at the business that was a complete, in my mindset, a failure. And the first business, GC Solutions, that I started was successful. It was started to help someone. It was really started to help someone. And that business was extremely successful for what I was doing. And then my second successful business, well, GC Solutions, selling the new office furniture, was successful. I made a lot of mistakes. That's why my money was really cut, but I made a lot of mistakes. Then I looked at the upscale garage sale, which was really, really successful. And then I look at Conundrum Publishing, which was the packaging of the upscale garage sale processes, was really successful. And I look at all the stuff that was been successful, and my most successful businesses have been businesses that have helped people that have helped people. Those have been my most successful businesses. And that business that in my mind, and I'll, I'll go ahead and explain it to you, that has failed was the car rental business because that car rental business was completely and utterly started based upon the numbers. Uh, you know, like I sat pretty much, I think at this desk and I wrote up the numbers and I wrote up my projections and stuff and they look good and they look great and everything, right? And then that was like absolutely the worst business I've ever started. The customers were terrible. And you know, I, I kind of look at it and all of the businesses that I started from a position of trying to help people, trying to, you know, um, the, uh, the first corporate citizen course, trying to help people extremely successful. But that car rental business, and this is something that kind of sticks with me, was absolutely the most heinous business I've ever started because it was that business was started for the money. The business was started for the money, and that's the you know, I, I made like $168,000 while I was in it, but due to customers wrecking cars, due to customers flattening tires, due to car, customers doing all kinds of damage, that money went right back in the business to repair. The, the damaged cars and stuff. And I remember, and I remember this morning, I was, went to the office and I kind of drove by, I had 12 wrecked cars, 12. This happened in about three weeks, boom, 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 boom. And I, I remember that day, I, my heart was so heavy because I was just sitting there like, I cannot be the only one going through this. And everyone's talking about, I'm in the car rental business, I'm making all this other money. And the reality is there's the concept in your mind of the car rental business. And then there's the reality of the car rental business and the reality, cause there's been other people who've come forward who've had similar experiences. Uh, there was one lady, the upgrade, she has a channel, the upgrade, I think her name is Kiki. She actually lost six cars and I don't think she had like 10 or something like that. So, when you start a business to help people from that position, it's just going to go much, much, much better. And this is fun, funny. And uh, one of the things that's, that's just kind of wild, I'm going to tell you a little story. I'm running some ads and this is kind of one of the most disheartening things because, you know, I have a certain presence, right? And I get people it's like, hey, I want to learn how to be rich like you. I want to learn how to be rich like you. And these people are really coming at it from the wrong perspective. They're just looking at the money. They're not trying to cre create it or help people or build out anything. They're just looking at the money. A mistake that I made when I got in the car rental business. And if you're going to make that mistake, if you're going to actually do this thing, it's, you know, cause literally, and th this is something else too. Um, cause one of the things is I'm running ads and stuff and I'm showing my face and it's bringing all of these people in here. 
It's bringing all these people in here who want to be successful, who want that. But the, the issue is they're looking at the money versus looking at the business and trying to help people. And this is one of the things I think that's going to distract from their success because they're looking at the money. I remember when I created Hustle Camp. Hustle Camp was one of the most successful things that I've ever put out. And it was moderate. I was doing, because I was selling the whole Hustle Camp for 150, and I was doing about 20, 20,000 to 25,000 per month at 150. And that was designed to help people. That's literally, it, it was just coming in. And one of the things that I look at, and this should help you when you start in your business, because right now you're seeing a lot of people in the Toro space and the Airbnb space and all they're starting to have some issues. I have a friend who's in the Airbnb space, the Toro space. She's does real estate. She flips houses, but she's, you know, she's not like, you know, she's flipping houses in the hood. So she one house she bought for 68,000 and she put $38,000 in it and she sold it for 140. So she made like $35,000 after she was done. That's the kind of house flipping she's doing. And she's such a wonderful spirit and she wants to help people and she, you know, and that that's the that's the foundation of her business. She wants to help people. She wants people to be successful. And with this whole notion of setting up your business and doing the things that you need to do to be successful, setting up your business to help people. Because like today I've been examining stuff. I've been really looking at stuff. Look, I've been looking at the stuff that has been really successful. I've been looking at stuff that, you know, fortunately for me, the majority of my businesses have been designed to help people. The majority of them. And outside that car rental business, which was put into place to make money, and I, I made so many mistakes with that business. Number one, I didn't understand customer behavior for the car rental business. And this is something that's normal now that people are coming out and telling the truth about the car rental business, that you know, if you rent out nice cars, who are the first people who are gonna rent out your nice cars? The people who don't have the ability to buy that car. And what they're gonna do, I remember um, this guy, I think Tony, he's in Kentucky. He was like, he had these Dodge Hellcats and people were racing them and stuff. Essentially, what you're gonna find yourself to be in a position of is you're gonna be starting a business for money without a concept of customer behavior, without the process of trying to help people this is where you're going to kind of run into some problems. This is where you're going to run into some problems. So if you start a business, you should start a business to help people. Like a customer that I helped start the cleaning business. The business was to help people. And the business is like, I think, a $5 million a year business now. And one of the things that you have to do and understand is as you're putting together these, this process of building your business and trying to help people and trying to literally do the things that you need to do to bless people, do the things that you need to do to set yourself up to be successful, to actually do these things. One of the things that you have to be aware of is what comes from your heart, what comes from your heart what is a good process for you to be stable? What's a good concept for you to do the things you need to do to make your business successful? Because like I said, today I've just been kind of sitting back and I've been thinking and I've been thinking and I've been thinking and I've been thinking and I've been thinking. And, I've been thinking. and all my businesses that have done well were designed first to help people. And fortunately, this also should say a lot about me that the majority of my business pursuits have been out to help people. And this is why I think for the most part, I've been like 95% successful and 5% failure. So I can, I can deal with those ratios. I can deal with those ratios because there's another business we're getting ready to launch, which I think is going to be crazy successful because it's going to be designed to help people. 
it's going to be designed to get people where they need to be. It's going to be designed to teach people and to strengthen people and to bring people on a new financial level. So I'll be working on that. But typically, this is my advice to you. If you're going to start a new business, you need to be starting a new business from the position of helping people. And this is going to assure that you're going to have way more success because I know everyone wants to do like trading where trading because essentially trading, you're trading against the market. And this is why so many people are really unsuccessful with trading. There are some people who are really successful with trading, but typically the average person struggles with trading and trading is a pretty much a singular pursuit and it's a mental thing. But one of the things that I see is, and this is why the majority of people who get in trailing fail is because they're looking out for this person. They're not looking out for that person. They're looking out for this person. And if you start a business with the perception of looking out for you, making that money for yourself, you're going to run into some problems. You're going to run into some problems because like I can literally look at all of the businesses that I started to help people that have been really, really successful. I made really good money. And, you know, that first business, I think that was a gift from God, because the more I think about it, to make two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in eight months and I had a six figure job. I don't think that just happened. I think that was a gift from God. I think that was a gift because that money provided the seed money and all other stuff for me to do the things that I need to do moving forward into the future. But yeah, we're about to get into some heavy duty conversations about starting a business, the things you need to do. And you know, I'm running ads, I'm talking to people and I am just, I shouldn't be astounded, but I am shocked at how many people are completely unaware of how the money system works. I shouldn't be, but I still find myself puzzled because there's so many people who feel that, that they can go out and get X amount of dollars from a financial institution. And simply, if you got bad credit, you can't, you just can't. And you know, I'm, I'm just really, really looking at this. And one of the things that I'm beginning to understand is the financial literacy and the education aspect needs to be sharper and deeper and more on point. So we got a lot of stuff that we're going to work on, a lot of stuff to help you. So stay tuned and there should be some more videos around here. So go ahead and be sure to watch these videos because I got a lot more coming for you. So that's all I got for you today. I will see you guys in the next one.